What's up, Internet? This is the uh, week of June 5th, uh, 2017. Um, this is going to be my vlog for this week. Uh, we're now four weeks into me making vlogs. I'm a little, uh, a little proud of myself. I mean, it's, uh, it's just a start, nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, but I'm hoping that I'm getting a little bit better each time, uh, working on, working on, on those uhs that I, I do a lot. Um, there I go again. <laughs> so this week was kind of a, uh, bleh week kind of thing. Um, not a whole lot done in terms of vlog footage. Uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of just day job stuff. Um, but, uh, so what I, all I really played this, this week was, uh, Dragon Age, and, uh, like I've been doing the last couple weeks, I have a little bit of a, you know, minute or so long, uh, footage of me doing, like, a review of Dragon Age, so here it is. Dragon Age Origins, developed by BioWare and released in November of 2009 for the Xbox 360, PS3, and PC, follows the player through the land of Ferelden. The player is able to create a character from an elf, a human, or a dwarf with varying origin stories before being recruited by the Grey Wardens to help quell the blight of the Darkspawn. The gameplay feels like an on-screen version of D&D with a lot of dialogue and a very deep high fantasy setting. The lore of this high fantasy setting is where Dragon Age is at its best, with an active codex filling up faster than a teaspoon in a waterfall. However, for all of the lore, the gameplay is extremely dated, feeling much, much older than other games released at the same time. The dated feel of this game is surprising, especially when Bioware released the very highly praised Mass Effect 2 only three months later in January of 2010. That said, both excel in story, and Bioware is considered one of the leaders in the industry in terms of open world story, with the Mass Effect series, the Dragon Age series, and previous works in Star Wars and Baldur's Gate under their belt. And we're back. So, like I said in in there, uh, in my awful monotone voice, uh, it's a game that's pretty dated, but you'll enjoy it if you if you know you like like Dungeons and Dragons or you're really really into high fantasy or you maybe you've played Dragon Age Inquisition uh, or Dragon Age Two and you thought that you really liked the the world and you wanted to see where the game started. Uh, other than that, I don't know if this would be the best jumping in point, um, especially if you have a current generation console. Uh, if that's the case, just go with Dragon Age Inquisition. There will be a little bit of story background that you miss, but the characters are fairly separate each game. Just a little bit of history stuff from the games. Uh, other than that, all I played this week was uh, some Mafia 3, uh, the DLC. I can't remember what the name of the DLC is was right off the bat, but uh, it was actually pretty good. It uh, you hung out with uh, with Donovan, your uh, CIA handler, for a little bit. And if none of this sounds uh, like it should make any sense, why you're a mafia member hanging out with your CIA handler, play the game. It's a really really good story. Uh, gameplay is pretty good too. Um, the open world is a little empty, but uh, it just means you need to drive faster to get to the next place. Other than that, this next week is probably going to be kind of the same in terms of uh, vlog content, so probably just going to be a little short video next week, but I'll try to make something interesting uh, as I go. <laughs> That's all, all I can do make things up as I go along. Anyway, 
Hope you guys have a great week. Uh, if you have any uh, suggestions, uh, give a comment down below. Uh, like the video. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Uh, I'm thinking about doing some stuff, some more different types of videos in the future. Uh, just working on it. Um, other than that, have a great week. I'll see you guys next week.